Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. With me today, Coordinator of Career Services, Lauren Cole. Thank you for joining me today, Sure. Lauren. Uh, and we're talking about career services and what career services offers, but much like the rest of the world, the adaptations are being made for COVID and the coronavirus. And one of the things is we're going to talk about some of the offerings you're going to have later in the semester, mm -hmm. but your office has already over the course of summer, at the end of the spring, has made a transition to a virtual world we have. of helping students out. And talk about that transition mm -hmm. and how, I guess, it, it's helping students that are needing to find careers, jobs, and things of that sort. Yes, I'll tell you, it's really been very successful because these employers, they are not really able to travel right now either. So they are actually able to do an employer information session with us. It's virtual and we're offering our first fully online virtual career fair this fall. So there, the employers are excited. We are all already up to about 30 employers with the fair, which is probably outpacing past semesters with at the point in time that we are. So employers are really uh, excited that they get to meet students virtually. It's really um, convenient for them and the student. And so how does that even work? Mm -hmm. Like I, right at this yeah, point, and I, sure. I will, and I, and I know we're gonna bring you back closer to the fair and okay. we'll get more specifics, yep. but, but how does that interaction work? How yeah. does a student log on okay. and, and do all that sort of stuff? So there's actually a couple of different things we're mm -hmm. doing. The first thing I'll mention, we're doing virtual employer sessions. Okay. We did those all throughout the summer. Um, we're offering one August 27th for IT careers with the state. We're just using a Zoom room. Um, the employer comes on, does about a 30, 45 minute presentation with details, and then they take questions and they stay on there as long as you know students want to and they can go on handshake and find the event and register for it and in the same way our career fair is in handshake as well so they will register for it ahead of time they will sign up for individual one-on-ones with employers that are coming to the career fair or just their group sessions. Yeah. So you can you can kind of request both or just one if you're only inter interested in one certain employer. And then the day of the fair, everybody comes online. Um, they have certain time slots that students have pre-registered to meet with them. Okay. Or they just have a big group room where you can turn on your video if you want to and chat with them or um, you can just type. In a lot of ways, even though it sounds complicated with such a big group, especially with those the the employer right. sessions, I would think it it affords some one on one FaceTime that you may not have gotten an opportunity to do in in a bigger group session. Right. There are other universities we're following that have done some of these and they're hearing really good reports from students saying, you know, I'm not just kind of rambling around a gym, standing in a long line. I've got my employers that I'm lined up to meet with and it's worked out really well. It's a little bit more niche, a little more targeted. And of course, you've already made this transition because you kind of had to. Right, you know, the, right. the spring semester took a lot of people by surprise. So you were having to make some adaptations and you've and you worked with I know there was a there was a fair and some other events throughout the summer but mm -hmm. how has that transition been you mentioned there that in a lot of ways it's been great but yeah. but making that transition right. obviously kind of took everyone by surprise it did um, one thing it has allowed us to do other than just better access to employers is we're getting all of our toy students on every campus and online involved even more because it's just going out to all students so that's been good um, now you know there's a lot of messages going out to students to everything's changing so we just like students to follow our social media and and all of our emails so they kind of know what we've got going on because it has changed dramatically. And of course, Handshake is the mm -hmm. is the place that they're a student Handshake is is get on there and that's going to yes. give them all the information they right. need to know about that, right? So we've got all of our appointments in Handshake. Mm -hmm. They can sign up for an appointment with us and we will give them the option of virtual or come in, um, a resume review, all of the stuff we've always done, mock interviews, but they'll also see our employer events and they'll see the career fair. And that's another element of this is that there's still an opportunity for them to come in right. and see you all yes. in the office. The yes. preference is virtual, but if they want to come in and mm -hmm. see you for that closer one-on-one -on -one right. attention, there's still an option for that. Sure, right? we gave that option to a student today that chose to come in. Um, the only thing is we gotta be in a large space, six mm -hmm. feet. So if we're talking about your career journey and it's a little more private, then um, it's kind of being talked about out loud. Yeah. But um, so virtual can be a little more private, but we are still in Eldridge Hall. So a chance to go in there and do that and, and the opportunity to get preparation. You mentioned there the resume work, all right. of that stuff 
four careers yes. working up. And, and there'll be an opportunity to be take part in this virtual career fair mm -hmm. uh, next month, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. so they're getting emails pretty soon about yeah. the fair coming up. Go ahead and sign up. They'll also see an announcement fairly soon about four Wednesdays in a row leading up to the career fair that we're doing virtual workshops. It's just a, a prep. We're talking about resumes, uh, elevator speeches, how to interview, what the career fair is going to be like. So opportunities to hop on there, hop online mm -hmm. and take part in all mm -hmm. these. These are similar things that you've been doing in person exactly. uh, throughout leading up to career fairs, yes. but now an opportunity to do it virtually. And once again, it, it allows you to spread out and be able to hit folks from other campuses, right, right. Uh, you know, opportunities for, for people who may not be in Troy proper, exactly. even maybe recent grads who right. have already kind of moved on and still want to take part. Yes, and our YouTube page is the perfect way to see these events that they can't tune in live. Mm -hmm. So they can just go to our YouTube page. We've developed that over the quarantine time. Mm -hmm. And it's a really good resource. All our presentations, our employer events, all of those are on YouTube. All right, so once again, anyone who wants to know any of this, the best place to do, mm -hmm. sign up for Handshake, right? Yes, go mm -hmm. to Handshake, you can look at our website, um, and then on YouTube and all the socials, Troy U Career. All right, Troy U Career, uh, looking forward to talking to you more in the future about some more of these virtual events you have going on, uh, and good luck keeping this, this virtual, in-person <laughs> right. kind of uh, right. balance going, right. but uh, thanks for joining us here today. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.